Good morning. I don't know why I've decided to film this without any trousers on. I've just realised I'm just in my pants, so I'm just have to stay up here. We build. I'm doing a series on TikTok where I'm trying out different exercises, right? It's a series called Trying to Find an Exercise that Doesn't Make Me Wanna Shit, Cry or Die. And I'm giving running a go. And Decathlon sent me some bits. This is what they sent me. They sent me some energy gels for short durations, under three hours. But I don't think they quite understand how short my durations are gonna be. Like, I'm not running for more than 30 minutes, babe. I've got better things to do. And while I've got you here, I realised in my other vlogs, I was trying quite hard to be the same on TikTok. Like, be very, like, shouty and, very, you know, rah, 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 the whole time. Because my TikTok is kind of like that. You have to try and capture people's attention and hold on to it. And you feel like you're kind of on this roller coaster. You've got to keep going. It's like, keep getting more exciting. Whereas my actual day-to-day -day life isn't that exciting. I'm not shouting that much of the time. So I'm hoping you don't mind if I make my YouTube a little bit more actually what I'm like. And that is a part of me and that is my sense of humour, but I'm not like that all the time. Quite a lot of the time I'm quite quiet. <laughs> Actually no, quite a lot of the time I'm just in like an ADHD paralysis of like just frozen because I don't know what to do next because I find being a creator really hard. This is not me being like, oh my God, being an influencer is such a hard job because I know it's not. I've had other jobs for like 10 years before this job. But, oh God, that's scary, you know, more than 10 years. But, so my brain's going in all different directions, so I've just woken up and haven't exercised, so it's just like firing off. But I find this job hard because it's all up to me, and also because it's all based on numbers. Like, I look at my stats all the time, see how many people are commenting, see how many people are viewing, and I always think that I'm like one video away from being cancelled or from not being relevant anymore. So it's a lot of pressure. So every video I put out, I want to be perfect. And that isn't possible. It's not like my other jobs where I knew I was just going to get a salary and I was like, oh well, like, I'll put my best in, but whatever, I'm going to get my salary anyway. Like this is genuinely like, I put my best shit out as I'm not going to get paid. It's not harder, but it's a lot of pressure. So I spend a lot of time just frozen and scared. I'm going to put my running stuff on. I'm going to try and do a 5k run, but every time I try and do these, I always end up feeling like I'm going to shit myself halfway through and having to walk back. But we're going to give it a good go. I'm going to get changed and change my outfit. Goodbye. Right, I'm ready to go. So I've tried on the stuff. Ooh, it's got a built-in bra, but it's not like a mega, like, tight one. I think that's good. These do make me look a bit like, like a brownie camp leader. You know, I'm not going to be picking up boys in these, but then I have a boyfriend, so maybe this is good. Maybe this is a deterrent. Maybe if I looked too good, too many people would hit on me and I'd never be able to finish my run. You've got to think about these things. And then they sent me these shoes as well. I know you've got to be quite careful with shoes because otherwise you can like your toenails can come off but again I don't think I run far enough to worry about that quite yet. I wish I could just stay on here and talk all day and actually not have to go on the run. Like, I feel that's what I'm doing. Like I'm just trying to think of the next thing to say so that I have to go. So that's I must go. Let's go and try and do 5k. I'm going to listen to a podcast because that normally helps me forget what I'm doing so I run further. Okay. Come on Holly, you got to go. I just can't go there. Come on Holly, go. Okay, now I'm going to go. I'm like Ross and friends, like, no, you hang up, no, you hang up, but like with myself. Okay, fine. We're going, we're going, we're going, we're going. really like gave you a lot of social currency but it just doesn't anymore it's a shame because i can kick quite hard okay now we're actually going if any of you've got any good podcast recommendations as well let me know i like them to kind of be motivational i can't just listen to two people chatting because I, I just want to sit on the sofa and chat with them as well so if you've got any that are like i don't know how to make your life better that's what i'm looking for like i listen to mel robbins that's my current person but i need some other ones okay wish me luck oh <sighs> But I didn't shit myself, which I'm so pleased about. <laughs> it literally kills my insides. Someone wrote on my TikTok one, when you run, it's because your um, intestines are swinging backwards and forwards. And I just don't think that was information I needed to know. I find quite often on TikTok, people tell me things and I'm like, I don't need to know that. Thank you though. Because now every time I run, I can just see them swinging like a skipping rope and it's too much. Anyway. I'm gonna go and sit outside in the sun for a bit just to try and get some endorphins, I suppose. I use the ceramidin jar situation, mainly because it smells like a spa, so it feels really luxurious. 
Oh, I've just got them in my eye, which is feeling less of a little bit. So today we've got a few things on the to-do list. I need to film a video for a brand partnership that I'm doing. Rory works downstairs, right, in our dining room, but that leads into the kitchen room, so kitchen room just the kitchen so I have to film my videos kind of around his schedule when he's got a minute to be free in calls and the only time he's got free is at between 10 and 11 right but the video I'm recording is making a dinner so the house is going to smell of dinner before I've even had my breakfast which is interesting I don't want the food to go to waste so I don't really know what to do but I just I basically have got to make a stew and I just don't think I want a stew for breakfast. So we're gonna to have to cross that bridge when we come to it. This is what I've used. Oh God, I finally get to do that, that's exciting. So it's the LME Daily Defense Shield SPF 30. I absolutely love this. This doesn't break me out. I got sent it, but I need to disclose that because um, I would never have spent that much money on it, on this because I find like sun cream really boring or like, I know I needed it, but I find it a boring thing to buy. You know, it's not exciting. But now I would definitely buy it again, which is like a blessing and a curse. I'm pretty sure it's like 30 quid or 40 quid. But it's so good, it doesn't even feel like it's on there. And it doesn't break me out. So I'm well happy with that. I'll catch up with you when we're moving on to sorting out stuff for the brand partnership. So I always think it's quite exciting and it's quite interesting like watching the behind the scenes of doing a brand deal. I don't know if there's a weird beauty filter on here because on that little screen, I look very blurred. Sorry if there is, I don't know how to turn, I don't know how to use this camera, so I don't know how to turn it on, turn it off, whatever, but it's not on purpose. I'm about to film the brand deal now. So I'm out of breath, I went up the stairs, it's so embarrassing. I always get really stressed when I'm filming brand deals because quite often you've kind of got one take to get it right. So like they've sent me the product and I have to get it right in that one take or I'm gonna have to like, they're gonna have to send it to me again, I'm gonna have to do it all over again. I, I, I don't know, I get worried they're gonna think I'm difficult to work with or I'm stupid, which they'd be right on the stupid front. So I'm gonna put you in the background, hopefully so you can see the kind of stages of me trying to film it. This one actually involves Rory getting involved too, so that adds a drama because it has to be done within his window of when he's not working. Whenever I do the vlog, Rory says that I sound like I'm just talking for the sake of it, but I'm pretty sure that's what a vlog is. You do it outside. No, I'm not doing it outside. Right, okay, we're going to start filming now. Are you excited to be in this video? No. Yeah, nice. Budget. Right. In comes Louis Spence. <laughs> Quietly. Quietly. Every time I go to the supermarket, I always have at least £13, even when I just go for porridge. Right, are you ready? Yeah. When you come in, if you could stand here, because then you would are in shock. Right, so I'm stood here with a notepad like this. Onion, 95, 95p? Yeah. What, for one onion? I know. It would have been 95p. It was. Single ones were 95p. There's no way it said onion single cost. onion was 95p. How big is it? <laughs> a normal size red onion. They won't have been 95p. That's so cheap. Are they? Yeah. 95p per kilo. Oh! I don't think that your one onion is going to weigh one kilogram. <laughs> Three, you get a pack of three onions for a pound. Let's get down, let's get down to business. What? I have this problem, right? When I go to shops, even if I'm just going in for porridge, I will always spend at least 13 pounds. But I'm going to give it a good sugar. Thank you. I don't know what Rory does, but it's something to do with numbers, so it I thought... It's not. <laughs> well, it's close. Eat the oil in the pan and fry the oil for about five minutes. Oh. Make you cry. A good thing about doing brand partnerships is it actually makes me clean, and like cooking ones specifically, is it makes me clean my kitchen. Like I can't do things unless it's urgent. Like I can't do a wash unless I literally don't have any pants left, or I can't clean the bathroom unless people are coming around. The kitchen is a hard one, so yeah, I'm pleased. I only wish that Rory got some brand deals. Maybe he'd clean the kitchen as well. Oh shit, I'm burning that thing. See, look, every time I cook, there's a problem. I've just burned that into there. Also, I'd like to add that uh, this outfit, basically when I film brand deals, I feel like I need to wear something quite bright so it gets people's attention. I don't look sweet and dainty, do I? Like, I don't think this is really doing much for me. My arms look quite weird sticking out of this. I look like if a child drew a person, do you know what I mean? The proportions aren't there. It says cook until pulpy, but what does that even mean? What is pulpy? Why do all these like recipes use adjectives? Just give me details. Like how many bubbles I should be looking for or something. It looks very lumpy compared to the other ones I've seen online. This looks really bad, look. It doesn't look like a potatoes brava sauce, does it? It doesn't look like a sauce, it's like a bolognese without the actual bowl. Shit. This is the final thing that I've made. I'm just not good at making things look appetizing. Like look at this potatoes bravas. The ratios are all wrong. 
The tomato is so aggressive compared to the potatoes. That looks heavy. Oh dear. Oh well, I tried. That's all I can do. That is that video filmed. I've just got to go and edit it now. Filming doesn't take very long. It's the editing that takes hours. I find it really hard to concentrate. Like, I literally every like 10 seconds want to pick up my phone and just like, distract myself because you have to get it down. Normally the brand will be like, we want it um, two minutes long or we want it 45 seconds. And my videos, I always want to talk for a long time because I think I can't really do that quickly because I waffle. So it's hard editing it down. But I've just tried to clean the kitchen. I mean, it's not looking great, but it's better than it was. I also realised I forgot to clean the floor and in some of the clips you can see the floor. So I'm gonna have to crop it so you can't see that. And look, I've even got my like notes here so I can remember the prices I was reading out and stuff. So it's weird because these videos, like they are scripted to an extent because you have to get all the right things across. But at the same time, it's in my own style and I'm the one that's written that beforehand. But it is very different to like the content that I make normally because that is normally me just picking up a camera and just chatting shit so yeah hope you enjoyed that very brief behind the scenes of making a brand deal and then i send it off to my manager he reviews it and then he sends it to the the brand the agency i'm working with and then they give it the final sign off so they say yeah yeah that's all good that never really happens i think that's happened twice for me ever or they come back with changes and then you have to like pray that you can make the changes just by editing your clips rather than refilming because refilming is so because you've kind of been all like, woo, in the first video, it's really hard to pretend it's the first time when you're doing it again. Mm. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Rory. Um, now I'm gonna go for a walk. Then I need to go to B&Q, because I'm painting my fence. So my day's a little bit all over the place. This is probably really boring, sorry about that. Okay, today's taking a weird turn, right? I I wouldn't I wouldn't say I'm particularly, hang on, let me sort out this angle. Nervous, because I'm doing something that's just very out of character, right? Okay, so I naturally am quite, I'm having to slouch, so I'm in short. I'm naturally quite an anxious girly, which I don't think comes across in like my other platforms. I seem like I'm just like, haha, but actually, naturally deep down, I'm very anxious. Well, no, I was very anxious when I was younger. I'm not very anxious now, but I do overthink things, right? I'm not very spontaneous. I like to know what's going on and when's, when it's going on. But my parents went on holiday yesterday, and this is so weird, but I just felt like I was going. And I've had a few moments in my life where I felt like a white witch. I can't really explain. Look up what a white witch is, but basically it's where, like, things just happen, and it's like you kind of predict them, or, like, you can just feel them, and... Something in my body just told me I was going on this holiday, but I tried to book on, but it was too expensive. So I was like to my parents, I can't come. Anyway, they flew today, they got there today, and I just thought to myself, I feel like I should be there. So I called up the people they go on holiday with, it's called Mark Warner. I called them, the company, and I was like, hello, is there any chance I can book on for the holiday they're on and actually just go? And they were like, we well, just have to pay the full price. And the full price is like way out of my price range. Anyway, I put the phone down. And then I thought something in my body was like, call her again. So I called them back up and I was like, hi, um, how, can you just tell me how much full price is? And the full price is half the price that was on the website. So I could afford it. But it would mean I also have to pay for my own transfer, my own flights. So I can just about afford it. But I really want to go. And anyway, she was like, okay, let me find out this space then. If there is, you can book on and I can fly tomorrow. So I'm just waiting on her to call me. To find out if I'm going or not. Either way is fine because if I I have so much thing to do, throwing a holiday into the mix probably isn't right, you know. But at the same time, oh, I'll miss Simba if I go. But at the same time, I know it will mean so much to my parents. So we're gonna see. <laughs> we're gonna see. We're gonna see what they say when they call me. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm booking it. I'm just on hold. They don't organise my transfer. I'm literally booking the flight now. This is so unlike me. I've got to get to Stansted though, I don't even know where that is. Hi, sorry about that. Hello. Thank you for helping. That's alright. Um, okay, so she just passed me on to so the um, and then I think you're all ready to go. Oh, brilliant. Oh, nice. Thank yes. you so much for your help. I really appreciate you're it. You're very welcome. You're oh. welcome. Yeah, me too. I can't believe this is happening. Oh, thank you so much for your help. I really, really appreciate it. You're very welcome. Take care. Have a lovely evening. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. Yeah. I'm going! <laughs> oh my God. Okay. I don't know why I'm crying. But I'm going. I'm going on the holiday. Oh, I just can't believe that I can do this. This is really embarrassing me filming crying. This is very not on brand. But I just can't even explain how much doing videos and stuff has changed my life like I can't believe I can go and surprise my parents because of this and you guys watching me and 
I don't know. It's a... Thank you so much. Right, I need to go and I need to book my flight and get everything sorted. Okay, bye. Right, read pack pronto. I'm so lucky that when I got back from camping, I actually put stuff in the washing machine. Normally, I don't unpack for like two weeks i just did for some reason it's like i knew i told you white witch now i always overpack and i just wear the same thing like three times so i need to keep that in mind when i'm packing i've still got an asus package to try on but what time is it oh god it's half it's half nine i don't even know how i'm getting to the airport tomorrow right i'm gonna do like a um oh should i do a a transition okay ready three three two one Packed. I don't even know what's in there, but I'm over it now. It's done. I nearly dropped you like I did last time. I'm just eating my porridge. It doesn't look very appetising, but it's really nice. It's um, Lidl's like golden syrup sachets with peanut butter and honey. So I've got 15 minutes. I need to dry my hair. I need to actually somehow find an Uber because Ubers don't always come here. So there's a lot of things to do. I don't seem to be as stressed as I should be, seeing as my suitcase is still open. Also, I was like, where is my like ne neck pillow? I was like, where would I put that? And I've realised it's under the bed, but the problem is we're always in the bed. So do I wake him up for the neck rest or do I just sacrifice it? I do feel like I need him. I just realised I left this vlog on such a cliffhanger, right? This is me from the future. So I went on the holiday. I posted quite a lot about the holiday on my TikTok and my Instagram. Um, basically, I went there, I surprised my parents. I'll include a clip here of me, of their reactions. <laughs> Can I join you? <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> so my mum was obviously like, oh, I can't believe it. And my dad was like, what are you doing here? I was like, is that it? After I spent eight hours trying to get here, that's all you're gonna give me. But yeah, I had a lovely holiday. I'm now back in action. And I've been filming another vlog today. So I'll be posting another one, same time, same place, next Thursday. So thank you so much for watching. This day that started off very average and then turned into something that was a lot of emotion and very exciting. Yeah, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe and like and tell your friend and I don't know, scream about it from the rooftops. I really, really appreciate it. That sounded like I was being, do you know what's weird? Because I'm never normally serious. When I am, it sounds like I'm being sarcastic, but I genuinely meant that. But I don't know if that comes across. Okay, I need to edit this week's vlog now. So I'm gonna go, bye.